So the aim today is we are going to identify an iodate salt. We know it contains, and it's like really living the fuck. We know it contains a metal of some sort and an iodate ion. So um, I'm going to tell you the we're going to do this by titration. The concentration of the sodium bisulfate is 0.120 moles. This is you. I am now going to work out the mass of salt that I use, and we're going to work out a titer. So we're going to go to the practical now, and then we'll come back to the equations. So just so I'm going to take, part of this, I'm going to take my iodate salt, and I'm going to react with lots of iodide ions to form iodine, and, and then I titrate the it's iodine really against disulfate. So this is the equation you have to learn. This is the one that you'll get in an exam that you have to work with. So this is, this is what you should know. Iodine plus thiosulfate gives you iodine ions, and uh, S is 406, if you know. Um, and then, but I've generated the iodine by uh, reacting iodate with acid and iodide ions. Right, so just to run through what we did. <coughs> This was my unknown iodate salt. Yeah. I took 25 centimeters cubed of that solution and I added lots of iodide ions and lots of acid. That's when the conical flask, the solution in the conical flask went like a brown color, just before I did the titration, because I was making iodine. I then took that iodine and added thiosulfate from my burette and it went colorless. Yeah, near the end point, because this is like brown and that's colours, it just gets paler and paler and paler yellow. So I don't get a clear end point. So near the end point I add starch, which goes black, and then my end point is black to colourless, when all the iodine disappears. So in my products I've got no iodine, which is why the black So disappears. that's the thing you use 24.9 on, that one? The that's, that's right, yeah. So 24, so that was my titer, and that was the mass. So the first thing you do, I have got, a volume and a concentration. So what can I work out? Moles. Real. So moles of thiosulfate is going to equal concentration times volume over a thousand. My concentration is 0.120. The title we got was 24.9, and that's over a thousand. So let's do that times 24.9 and that comes to 2.988 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. What do I need to relate that to? I need to relate that to moles of, that's what I found, what do I want to work out? You want to work out the iron so relate it to the I need to work out to moles of this. So, so I want to work out moles of IO3 minus, and I'm going to work out in my 25 centimetres cubed that I took from my pipette. Yeah. So you half that. Steady on. Okay, so that's what I've worked out, but one of those made three of those, but I've only got one here, so what do I need to do to this equation to make one of those makes three of those? Divide by 1.5. Okay, oh, I no, think it's probably easier. Times by five. No, steady. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you. One of those two, that's a three. What does that have to be there? Three. A three. So I times this by three. 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 That becomes three I2 plus six, six S2O32 minus. So the ratio between, that's what I work, that's what I found. That's what I want to work it out to. What is the ratio to one that? Six. One six. So what do I need to do to that number? Divide by six. Really, divide by six. Okay, so. <laughs> wait, wait, isn't there two S to three minus? Here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so I times this by three, and three Based times two is six. The whole, the whole equation by three. I times this whole equation. <coughs> yeah. So that gives me this. So that has been 6i minus plus 3s4062 minus. So I times this in, entire, because then I can relate these two equations together. But so you divide it by 6? 
So I'm going to... So oh, yes. Oh, no, no, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's equal to 2.988 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 6. That equals 4.98 times 10 to the minus 4. But that was in 25. Times by 10. So in 250 centimetres cubed, it is 4.98 times 10 to the minus 3. So I found my moles. What do I want to find in order I can find my unknown metal here? I need to work out the molar mass. So molar mass of Yeah, of M I O three is equal to mass over moles. Point zero seven times ten. So we reckon what did that come to, sorry? Um, two hundred and fifty. Okay, I need to find M. So from that I need to minus iodine and three oxygens. So M is equal to two hundred and fifty What's ID on your periodic tables? Oh, that's not Iodine is 127. Minus 46. 48. Okay, 215 minus 127 minus 48 gives me 40. So, what is my Unknown metal. Why has it got to be group one? Because oh, it's only plus one. So, <laughs> so M equals potassium. Okay, cool. Why is that being group 